These are my tools to create awesome PS3 tutorials. Let's do this. Hey guys, this is Versatile from VST Power Now, Holson Proud to Phoenix Media. We got a really great PS3 CFW tutorial today. I'm going to show you how to play old school games like NES or Super Nintendo or Sega, for example, on your CFW PS3 using RetroArch. So how does this work? Go to the More Info section. There's a link. Download the package file. Put it on your USB thumb drive, FAT32 formatted. Insert in the rightmost USB port of your PS3. So I'm using Rebug firmware, so I'm going to go ahead Go to install package files, and if you go to standard here, here's the package file, and you install it. I have it installed, so to help save some time, I'm not going to install it again. Once you have the package file installed, let's go ahead and run the program. So I'm going to go down here and run RetroArch. In the meantime, what you probably want to do is go ahead and get your ROM files wherever you want to get them, and then put those ROM files on your USB thumb drive. So you can play from the thumb drive, or you can play off external hard drive, or maybe you can play off internal hard drive as well. And then here is the main menu. I'm not going to go into all the details, but I want to take a look at the cores. Here's all the different cores that supports the different emulation, basically. So you got MAME, you got NES, Game Boy, uh, Sega, Super Nintendo, Virtual Boy, so on and so forth. The easiest way to start playing right away is do load content, detect core. At least that's what I like to do. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to navigate to my thumb drive, USB triple zero, go to my ROMs folder, and I have different ROMs here, so let's say, as an example for today, let's go ahead and run a Battletoads, and I'm going to select Nestopia as the core, and it's going to go ahead and do its thing. So, um, I've tried a lot of different games, i tried MAME, works great, Nintendo works great, Super Nintendo works great, Sega works great, and that's pretty much all I've tried so far, because that's what I like to play, basically. No lag, sound emulation is great, no complaints there, it's a lot of good times basically. So for NES, uh, basically X and O is the two buttons basically with the D-pad. So let's say you want to go back to RetroArch menu. Uh, you could press the L3 and R3 analogs, press them down to go here. So let's say I'm going to try a different game. So let's go back to my USB thumb drive real quick. And let's say Sega, let's go ahead and load this other game, Eternal Champions. And uh, this will probably be the last game of the video tutorial, but it's just enough to get your feet wet and to show you guys the power of the PS3 and the awesomeness of homebrew programs. Come on, let's go. Okay, um, let's do this. Who should I pick today? Oh, Trident's pretty good. This game is awesome. I'm just a sucker for fighting games. Oh, crap. So anyways, you get the idea. RetroArch, that's what you want to use if you want to play old school games on your console. And that's pretty much it. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.